Welcome to our YouTube video exploring the intriguing world of excuses found within the pages of the Bible. Throughout history, individuals have often sought to justify their actions or avoid responsibility through a variety of excuses. And the Bible is rich with examples of such human tendencies. Join us as we delve into the lives of biblical figures who, in moments of challenge or decision, offered explanations, rationalizations, and justifications for their behavior. From Adam and Eve's blame-shifting in the Garden of Eden to Saul's fear-driven actions, each story offers valuable insights and lessons for us today. Together, let's uncover the excuses made by these characters of faith and discover the timeless wisdom embedded within their narratives. If you enjoy exploring the depth of these stories with us, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on biblical teachings and spiritual growth. Your support means the world to us as we continue this journey together. 1. Adam After eating the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, Adam blames both Eve and God. Genesis 3.12 states, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. 2. Now, similarly, Eve blames the serpent for deceiving her into eating the forbidden fruit. Genesis 3.13 records her response, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. 3. Skin. After murdering his brother Abel, Cain denies responsibility and asks God, Am I my brother's keeper? Genesis 4, 9. He also complains about his punishment, fearing retribution from others. 4. Aaron. When Moses questions Aaron about the golden calf the Israelites made, Aaron shifts blame to the people, claiming they made him do it. Exodus 32, 22, 24 records, They gave me the gold, and I threw it into the fire, and out came this calf. 5. Pharaoh Pharaoh repeatedly offers excuses for not letting the Israelites go, citing various reasons such as not knowing who God is or hardening his heart. Exodus 5, 2. Exodus 9, 34. 6. Saul In 1 Samuel 15, Saul disobeys God's command to utterly destroy the Amalekites and their possessions. When confronted by Samuel, Saul blames the people for sparing the best of the livestock to sacrifice to God. Additionally, Saul stood in the place of a priest and offered a sacrifice without authority, fearing the people's impatience and disobedience. 1 Samuel 13, 8, 14. 7. Lot. Lot, in the book of Genesis, offers an excuse when faced with a difficult decision. When two angels visit Lot in the city of Sodom to warn him of its impending destruction, Lot offers them hospitality and protection. However, when a mob of men from the city demands that Lot hand over the visitors so they can abuse them, Lot offers his two virgin daughters instead, saying, Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Genesis 19.8 and Nev. 8. Elijah After his great victory over the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, Elijah became afraid for his life when Queen Jezebel threatened to kill him. He fled and hid in a cave. When God asked him why he was there, Elijah responded, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. Er Kings 19.10, NIV. Elijah's excuse reflects his fear and sense of isolation, despite his earlier boldness. 9. Moses. When God calls Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, Moses offers excuses, citing his lack of eloquence and fear that the people will not believe him. Exodus 4.10 records Moses saying, Pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. 10. The Ten Spies When Moses sends twelve spies to explore the land of Canaan, ten of them come back with a negative report citing the strength of the inhabitants and the perceived impossibility of taking the land. Numbers 13, 31, 33. 11. The three invited guests, Luke 14. In the parable, those invited to a great banquet offer various excuses for not attending, such as having bought a field, bought oxen, or having married a wife, Luke 14, 18, 20. 12. The unfaithful servant, Matthew 25. In the parable of the talents, the servant who received one talent buried it in the ground out of fear of his master, rather than investing it. When confronted, he offers excuses, saying he was afraid and therefore hid the talent. Matthew 25, 24-25 13. Felix Dorfelix, the Roman governor, 
heard the preaching of Paul regarding faith in Jesus Christ and righteousness, but he became frightened and delayed making a decision. When Paul spoke to him about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix became afraid and said, that's enough for now, you may leave. When I find it convenient, I will send for you. That Acts 24, 25, Nye V. Felix's excuse reflects his unwillingness to commit to following Jesus immediately, choosing instead to delay and evade the matter. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you.